There's someone in my audience right now that I want to meet. Emily Francis came to the United States from Guatemala when she was 15 years old. Let me finish the introduction. Um, <laughs> Emily came to the United States from Guatemala when she was 15 years old with only a sixth grade education, and now she teaches English and is changing the lives of her students every day. Come on down, Emily. And here she is. <laughs> so, hi. 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 I heard you were in the audience. So, yeah, that's a microphone. You can talk right into that. Oh, okay. that that's what it is. Yeah, okay. you, did, you did not expect to be here, so no. big surprise. I was over there dancing. I'm out of breath. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, your story is amazing. Tell everyone Thank how you. you immigrated, how you got here. Yeah, I was 15 years old when my mother decided to bring us to Guatemala. She was already here. So, I was 13 when she left us in Guatemala. So, she left you. You're 13, and then how many I siblings? I was 13. I have four siblings. And they, how old were they? Uh, well, I was 13. They were 11. Seven, nine, five, and three. Okay, so you're 13 years old, and for two years you're raising them. Yes, by we yourself. built a little shack in my neighbor's backyard, right. and that's where we lived from 13 a years. to 15 years yes. old. Okay, so at 15, then she says, "I have enough money, and you can come." Yeah, she sent a smuggler to bring us here. Uh huh. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, we got busted at the airport. Uh huh. <laughs> Because yeah. the passports won't. It was, uh, yeah, undocumented. Yeah. So yeah. then how did you get in? Uh, my grandmother was here. She was an American citizen. Uh -huh. She went to the airport and claimed us mm -hmm. as her grandchildren. So we were able to stay here. Okay, and so I hear that you learned English watching my show and Friends. Yes! Okay. Yes! Okay, oh so... <laughs> well... Yes. So were you just walking up to people saying, we'll be right back? I mean, like... <laughs> No, it was just it was just fun. When you're learning a second language, when you have so much energy and you're watching somebody just talking and interacting with other people, that's, you just get, get that and you learn from it. Right. So, um, and I think that, that probably, you know, now you're teaching kids uh, English as a second language, yes. right? Yes. And your, your whole background probably influences how you teach. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, when I came here, um, it was like they forced for me to learn English, and which is, there's nothing wrong with that. I think this is the language we speak in America. Right. But they kind of forgot to uh, work on my native language and work on my culture. So that's what I do at my school. Right. I bring literature where my students can read in their native language. I make sure that they, they, they value their culture as much as I do mine. And where is the school? It's Irvin Elementary School in Concord, okay. North Carolina. North Carolina. Yes. Okay. They, the students sound amazing. Yes, I love them. Yeah. I love them. You yes. want to say hi to them right now? Because Jeannie is there. What? Let's, uh, let's see how Jeannie's doing with everybody. <laughs> everybody doing there, Jeannie? Oh my gosh, Ellen, we are so excited! Oh These kids have been so thrilled all day to do this for you, Mrs. Francis, and I actually have one of your students, David, here, and he wanted to say something to you. What did you want to tell your teacher? Thank you for um, teaching me to speak English and showing me the right path and be with me all along. All right. We have one more surprise after this. Emily, there's somebody who wanted to meet you. He's the CEO and founder of Chibani. Hamdi, come on out here. So, uh, Hamdi, you came here. You have a similar story. You came here at the sa in the same year, 1994. 94, yeah. Right? Yeah. And the only English you spoke was, I am Hamdi, I am from Turkey. And I love football. And I love football. Oh. <laughs> Soccer, you know. Soccer. <laughs> That's what football is for, yeah, for you, it. yes. I, I watched the wrong show, so her English is much better than mine. I see. <laughs> see? <That's laughs> why. Had you watched my show? I watched Sunfield. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that how you learned English? Yeah, you watch TV, you yeah. watch movies, yeah. and, and of course, uh, what you've done is amazing. And I want to remember my teachers. I took ESL classes uh, at uh, SUNY Albany. And, and that's where teachers like yourself um, and taught me how to speak. Yeah. So if I am speaking well, it's their work. If I'm not, it's my fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. So you come to, uh, to America, you speak, you know, basically no English, and now you have one of the most successful companies in, uh, in the United States, if not the world, I would say. Tell everybody how that happened. Um, 
you know, the, this, this amazing country. Uh, and I found my home in upstate New York. So I ended up in city, in New York City in 1994. And I said, I I'm going to go crazy in this place. This is too much. And then I, I made it to upstate and started working in a farm. And I felt like home. Uh, it reminded me where I came from. Um, and then I started making cheese a little bit. And, you know, because that's what we did back home in um, farming and cheese making. Um, and one day I saw an ad and said, fully equipped yogurt plant for sale. And I threw it to the garbage can. And later on, I picked it up. <laughs> and then I called the number. And turns out this large company was closing this factory, and they were selling it as junk. And I went there, and I said, well, maybe I, I should buy this. And everybody said I was crazy. And my attorney said they were looking for a crazy Turk to unload this. I mean, one of the largest companies getting out of the yogurt business. Why would you go? And what do you think you would do it? Right. And um, to, to story short, I bought it. Um, in 2005 with five factory workers. And we started making the yogurt that my mother used to make. And then, you know. And that's, now? And there we are. How many, how many employees do you have now? We have 2,000 employees. Wow. <laughs> well, the Chobani Foundation wants to support uh, your school's backpack program, and they want to give you, Chobani wants to give you by giving away a free cup of yogurt to everyone in America. Go to our website to find out more.